well, I'm not sure the date, but anyway, this video is called, um, The Generation of Some Cars, and we're going to take a look at basically a few cars I picked out and how they changed over the years and what they've ended up being over these years. So, first of all, we'll take off Chevy. This is the Chevy Chevette, okay? Four-door, they could be two-door hatchback, whatever. Here's what the Chevy Chevette ended up being to. The Chevette then turned into the Chevy Cavalier in the late 80s. And then in 1996, changed to the round style of the Cavalier, and like my grandma's. And that went to about uh, late 80s to 2005. And then in 06, as we know today, which is still made, the Chevy Cobalt. So it went from that to that to that and to the Chevy Cobalt. So that's just a that's just a way that the Cavalier has went from and the Chevette to start off with. Now, next of all, or uh, next, I want to talk about Chrysler. Has anybody ever heard of the Chrysler New Yorker? Well, for one thing, the Chrysler New Yorker um, in the 90s was uh, a little square, boxy looking kind of just a regular car. You don't really find them around too much anymore. They're, some of them are in the junkyard. Some people still drive them. A lot of elderly people or a lot of older couples drive them and you still find them around because they're Chrysler's. But anyway, that looks familiar and that looks familiar too. I don't know for sure, but these two have a lot in common. So maybe the New York or Fifth Avenue turned into the 300C over the years because they don't make either. Um, one of the other cars I want to talk about is the Dodge Shadow. Well, that looks sort of similar to the Dodge Neon, and that wasn't made after that started. And then, has anybody heard of the Dodge Caliber? Well, all these cars have something in common. So it went from the Shadow to about the Neon from the up in 2000s. To I think what they, um, I think they made the Dodge Caliber from the neon in the shadow. I don't know, but it seems common. Now here's a Ford example, the Ford Escort. In 1987, that's what the Ford Escort looked like. It then changed in the 1990s and 96. It looked like that. 1997, that Ford went with the oval look, and made that was the Ford Escort. And Ford then made the Ford Focus, which we still is produced today. The 2010 Ford Focus, that's the 2009 model. Okay, and one of the other ones I want to talk about by Ford was the Ford Bronco. Doesn't the Ford Bronco look like the Ford Escape? Uh, question mark there? You would think it does, but I think it does. Next is the Ford Tempo. Well... That's the Ford Tempo in 1994, the last year the Ford Tempo was made. Well, when that wasn't made, Ford Contour took its place. And that was the mid-sized sedan. Well, when Contour was done, about 2006 or 5 or 7 like that or something, the Ford Fusion comes out. So all these cars have similar, similar things. Well, you can get any of these cars the way you can order them. V6, that came with, and the 3 liter. That came with uh, a 3 liter or something like that V6 and this can come with a 3 liter V6 and that was all wheel drive you can get that all wheel drive and this all wheel drive you can this is what uh, this is just some of the generations of the cars what they used to be and what they've turned into over the years that's Chevy that's Chrysler that's Ford that's Dodge and also Ford so it's kind of weird to think of it but I guess that's how things start off from and end up. So we'll see how these end up, like the Ford Fusion and the Ford Focus and the 300C and the Cobalt. We'll see how those all end up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and thumbs up for Cabaretzella41. Sweet.